Hello, I am Marcel and we will learn how to export Ornatrix Maya hair into Alembic cache so that it can be used with V-Ray proxy objects. Being able to export hair into an Alembic cache is a great way to create assets from your hair that can be reused or switched in between different scenes and V-Ray's proxy hair object is a great way of being able to load this Alembic file and render it at a later point without even having Ornatrix installed on your system. And in fact it is also a good way of being able to switch between Maya and 3ds Max and other packages that support V-Ray rendering and being able to load either a single frame or a whole animation of your hair and render it inside that scene in that specific host. So to start I'm just going to create some basic hair using Ornatrix which we will export and this is just for demonstration purposes. In your scenario this will be the hair from your scene on top of your character and the goal here is to either have some guides or some hair that will already be styled and ready for export in your scene. In this case I'm just going to create some hair quickly that will have some recognizable shape that we can later on on render and import into Maya and 3ds Max. So we end up with the hair looking something like this and it consists of a few parametric operators applied on top of it. One of them is the render settings node which controls the thickness of the individual strands and we also note that these hairs that are displayed in the viewport are different from the hairs that we're going to get inside the render because the hair from guides has two configurations for render count and a separate configuration for the viewport viewport count. And right now we're only seeing 1000 hairs, whereas if we render this scene out, it would have actually 10,000 hairs. So this is one important thing to note, because when we will be exporting to Alembic, we'll have an option to choose between which count to export, the render count or the viewport count. So at this point, I am pretty happy with my hair and I am ready to export it into the V-Ray proxy Alembic cache. To do this, I go to file and I use the export selection option to export just the selected hair. If you wanted to export the whole scene, there is also an export all option. I need to select Ornatrix Alembic option from the list of the file types that you can choose and I need to specify my resulting file name. I'll just use test.abc file name. And lastly, there are a couple of options that we can choose. First is the start and end time. If we don't have animated hair like right now, we can select the start time and end time to be at the same frame, which will essentially export just one frame for the hair. However, if I have animation inside of my scene, for example, if there was dynamics applied on top of my hair, or if I just manually animated it using bones or something like that, I would specify the starting and the ending time for which I want to export my hair. And then individually it will be exported one frame at a time and once I import I will be able to render and retain this animation using the V-Ray proxy object. Lastly, just like I mentioned before, you can use the render version of the hairs or you can use the viewport version. Multiple operators in Ornatrix allow you to specify different parameters for when you're rendering or not rendering. For example, hair from guides being one of them, but another example would be a detail operator which allows you to specify different point count depending on whether you're rendering or not to give your hairs more smoothness or to allow quicker viewport display. So in this case let's use the render version. Once I'm ready just press export selection and let it do its thing. So at this point it exported and now we can try to import it right inside the same scene. To import my hair I need to go into the V-Ray shelf and inside here the second button from the right is the import V-Ray proxy button. When I click it I just name my object Object, let's call it hair2 and I select the file name of the object which is the test.abc file which we have previously exported and once I'm done I just press the create button and right on top of our hairs we can see there is a new object here and this is the imported V-Ray proxy object. At this point it is just displaying a subset of hairs which were imported. If you go into the hair V-Ray mesh object and scroll down to open the Alembic proxy parameters group, you can see that there is a parameter that allows you to specify the number of preview hairs inside the viewport. Right now it is set to 500, but if I change this to something else, let's say 2000, you can see that it is increasing the preview hairs of the, inside the viewport. So you are always previewing a subset of the hairs unless you set it to the full 10,000 hairs that we exported. Really you can have millions of hairs or first strands in here and it should still do a pretty good job of uh, being quick to display them. 
So this is all you need to do. Let us get rid of the hair that we had before and select this hair and put it on top of the character. And now I'm just going to render this hair out using V-Ray. And once I press render, I don't really have a shader assigned right now. So it is appearing as gray. In reality, I would assign a hair shader and I would spend some time maybe adjusting the parameters. But you can see that it is rendering my V-Ray proxy hair the same way as it would render normal Ornatrix hair. And again, if I had animation on this hair and I exported the animation range, it would also come in and I would be able to render out a sequence of frames each with changing hair over time. So this just shows how quick and easy it is to export Ornatrix hair into this specific Alembic format that is friendly to use with the V-Ray proxy object. And it is just as easy to bring this object and import it using the V-Ray proxy inside 3ds Max. The procedure is the same, use the V-Ray proxy object, select our test.abc file, and once it's imported, all I need to do is maybe adjust the rotation and we are ready to go. Just like in Maya, we can adjust different settings like the number of hairs that get displayed inside the viewport. And once I'm ready with my hair, all I need to do is render this out. So use Ornatrix Alembic Hair Export to create these hair assets, which can be static or animated, and reuse these hair assets in all of the packages that support V-Ray using the V-Ray proxy object. Thank you very much for watching.